Birendra Dai, have you heard? We found the tiger had had its teeth shot before, probably by poachers. Poachers, huh? That is really a shame. But maybe there is not much we can do, Asmita. Maybe we should show our friend what reality is here. There is a flip side to Nepal's successful conservation. So, do you know anything about any poachers, Dai? Who they might be? No, nothing. Sorry, I cannot help. Okay, guys. So, the mission we're going to now do is... This beloved land of ours. So, what we have to do is travel to the Water Buffalo Grounds. So, on the map, it is just over there. Now, as you can tell, I have fast traveled to this outpost. What I should have done was actually grabbed this outpost with the outlook at the same time, but I didn't. I didn't think about it. I just traveled over it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've got an ATV out. We're going to drive as close to this point as we can. But I'm going to try and be at least 500 meters from that. Maybe 600. And we'll walk it down there. So, yeah. It's because if I get too close with the ATV, I will scare off the animals. And we don't want to do that. But if I've got to hunt anything down there. Breathe through the void of this city. as part of our staff. There's always some population control to be done. Can you take care of some of the wild water buffalo for us? Okay guys, so obviously we're here and we've got the hunting sand that was there. Um, obviously we'll travel to this location over here which is for the water buffalo grounds. Now it's telling us to travel for feeding grounds for something which is all the way over there. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly go back and grab this place, which I should have done. And then I'm going to travel from here and I'm going to grab that place. Probably grab, I'm guessing there's a outpost there. And I'm going to travel to that point there and then we'll get the lookout. So I'll be back with you guys once I get to here. And then we'll just speed up the journey for me getting all the way around there unless there's any information. So I do apologise if it's going to be a bit of a long winded one, but it's what it wants us to do. It's what I'm going to do. To carry on.
heart that feels no pain We drift through circuits, lost in time Binary rhythms are perfect rhyme counts how many Bengal tigers or snow leopards are alive in Nepal, but they don't count the number of cattle lost to wildlife or even human lives. They don't count how much money we lose. The reserve. They're doing what they can to balance it out, but the bureaucracy is just too slow. Sorry, Asmita, but you know everyone is waiting for compensation for loss of income from the higher-ups. Okay, Garni. What's to be done? 
I can only agree with you on that. We're just doing the best we can. But I disagree we should just give up. Virendra Dai, you told me things were even worse before the region became a reserve. It's not as bad as you presented. We've made great progress. And I want our friend here to see the good things as well. Anyway, I think you understand our situation better now. Sometimes the decisions are made by people living in cities, and they never have set foot out here, or seen our farms, or the wildlife. We, the Taru people, know best what to do about finding balance with wildlife here in Tarai. And there are lots of cultures in the Pahar who are experts in their own areas. Guru, like Asmita, Tarai people, Atilimbu. They solve problems from their offices, but here in rural areas, not their priority. That's the reality. Okay, so after finally doing the part where it wants me to go to the feeding grounds, I decided I'd do a bit of exploring. Because we have to go over to this location, right here, for the next part. Because <laughs> it says to travel to a village. So I've travelled down to this lookout slash outpost <laughs> and grabbed that. So I'm actually gonna drive the ATV from here to the next destination, which it saves a bit of um, you having to watch me do a lot of travelling. So I'm going to literally travel there, guys. So hopefully you enjoy the ride. And yeah, it shouldn't take us too long to get there. ecosystem thrive better, just like you and me. As long as we keep close control on what they're allowed to hunt, of course. But without the reserve's income, we'd be doing even worse. You know that. We have to stop the poachers. If they keep going after endangered species, the government will see this reserve as failing. And shut it down. Yes, I have heard that there are some government grants that are hanging in the balance. If the poachers keep causing damage, Dai, you and I will lose our jobs. Is that what you want? Hey. Was that a gunshot? It came from your area, my friend. 